Hello and welcome to today's reflection. I'm Julie Butcher. I'm the curate at Holy Trinity and St. Michael and All Angels. Today's reading has us thinking about bread. I love bread. We have a bread maker at home and the smell of freshly baked bread takes me back to my childhood. When my brother was very young, he was diagnosed as having celiac disease. And at the time, it wasn't heard of very much. And there certainly wasn't an aisle at the supermarkets with an array of gluten-free options. Instead, my mum would collect a box of gluten-free flour from the chemist and make his bread. I'd watch the dough rising in front of the fire and wait for the finished product to come out of the oven. It was soft and crumbly when the first when it was first baked, but it didn't keep so very well, and so we didn't let it hang around for long, and we enjoyed helping him eat it. Often as our supper before going to bed, with some jam on it, or as toast with lots of butter. I can remember it clearly now, well over 50 years ago. Maybe you have some similar childhood memories of bread. So let's hear the reading from John's Gospel. It's chapter 6, verses 27 to 35. Do not work for the food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For it is on him that God the Father has set his seal. Then they said to him, What must we do to perform the works of God? Jesus answered them, This is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he has sent. So they said to him, What sign are you going to give us then, so that we may see it and believe you? What work are you performing? Our ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness. As it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. Then Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, it was not Moses who gave you the bread from heaven, but it is my Father who gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. They said to him, Sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. And this is the word of the Lord. So the disciples have again rather missed the point, haven't they? They're looking for bread to physically sustain them, to stop their stomach rumbling, rather like the Samaritan woman at the well uh, wanted the living water so she wouldn't need to keep coming back to the well with her bucket, filling it and struggling to carry it home each day in the heat. Not only that, they're wanting proof of who Jesus was, just as their ancestors had told them God had provided the manna in the wilderness day after day. Earlier in the chapter, Jesus had fed them and they had seen the miracle when 5,000 people were fed with five loaves and two fish. But Jesus is offering much more, much more than physical hunger busting bread. Man doesn't live by bread alone. Now what Jesus was offering, what Jesus is offering, is not just a temporary, we'll need to eat again soon sort of satisfaction. But instead it's a satisfaction from knowing and trusting Jesus, knowing we're safe with him, that he offers a fullness of life forever. And reassuringly he uses the phrase, whoever comes Whoever. All are invited. As our church mission statement says, everyone invited, included, important. And indeed, that's what we are to Jesus. As I've reflected on this reading today, I think I've realised something about why I remember those times at home as a child. Yes, the bread was delicious and it filled me nicely before I went to bed. But it was much more than that. I loved that time when I sat with my mum and my brother by the fire, all ready for bed. We were safe and warm, and we both knew that we were utterly loved by our mum. <laughs> Maybe that's part of what Jesus was telling his disciples and tells us today, that God 
utterly loves us and desires that we choose to follow him, to be sustained by him throughout each day of our lives for our whole life. Now, Robin Gamble offers this prayer in his Jesus 100 book. Lord Jesus, if you are the bread of life, then I am the hungry one. As I live, I get hungry. Then when I serve you, I get hungry. No matter how much I eat, I keep getting hungry. So may you be my daily bread, my daily bread of life. Amen. So I hope you have a good day and that I see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.